what is this? Are, are you serious? Gosh, this is not a bed. This is an oversized neck pillow. Like, come on, man. This is a neck pillow for giraffes. Dang. Don't nobody want to sleep standing up, am I right? Not unless you're in line for Starbucks, the DMV, or KFC. Trying to sleep standing up, man, you better get that out of here. But that's right, we're checking out unusual and cool beds you've never seen before. If you haven't already, please be sure to click that subscribe button and drop a like on the video. And please comment down below what time you usually go to bed. I usually go to bed at like 4 a.m. Don't judge me. But come on, seriously, this is like how birds sleep, like standing up, just like, you know, with a little like sleeping in a dang nest. I'm not gonna lie, it does look kind of comfortable. I mean, cause it kind of like shapes to your body, shapes to your head. But at the bottom it says, this bed encases the sleeper in a marshmallow of comfortable cushion while supporting the body in an upright position. I ain't trying to sleep in no marshmallow. And you guys know, look, I'm black. I'm not trying to be the graham cracker in a s'more. No, heck no. Racism, discrimination. Okay, no it's not, but still, I ain't trying to sleep in a marshmallow. And what is that, a hamburger bed? <laughs> Is this how the mascot of Burger King likes to sleep? Man, mm -mm, not today. So they want me to be the meat inside this hamburger bed. Mm -mm, no, 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 it's not gonna happen. What, so it's like the bun, like the cover that you put over yourself and you get tucked in by a bun? They even got the sesame seeds on top, dang. I wouldn't be able to sleep because I'd be thinking to myself, I'm in a hamburger bed. Now I'm hungry. Now I want me a large fry and a large shake and a double cheeseburger. To go, please. Kayla bought a <laughs> Wait, why'd they have to say Kayla? Kayla bought a round mattress from the 70s and made everything else herself, with the exception of pickle chip pillows, which she received from a wonderful friend. The bed is eight feet in diameter and stands about three feet tall. In Kayla's opinion, it was the most comfortable bed she had ever owned ever. She lying. That thing does not look comfortable. That thing looks like a trap that you use to catch non-vegetarians. A hey, hashtag vegetarian. And before you ask, yes, I'm vegetarian. <laughs> oh my gosh, please somebody tell me what this is. Is this a roller coaster bed? Like you go to sleep on the drop? Like what? Is, what oh. This thing's making me frustrated. This is not a bed, this is a piece of art. Los Carpinteros designed this bed, which translates to roller coaster. Ah, oh, see, I was right, I was right. Pink cushions cover the bed frame as it moves up and down and curves back on itself in an imitation popular rides. What? But if you're thinking that this bed isn't exactly practical, that's okay. It was actually designed to be a piece of furniture artwork. Yeah, yeah, see, I told you. And was exhibited at an art gallery in New York in 2008. Well, isn't that nice? You could have like 12 family and friends sleep in the same bed, jeez. See, this is the type of bed for those adrenaline junkies that just wanna sleep like while sliding down. Or this is the type of bed for somebody with scoliosis and the spine is not aligned and is, is crooked. Crooked like my humor. <laughs> What? But come on guys, you're not gonna tell me that this is the bed for a snake. Come on, this is a snake's bed. This is the bed for a boa constrictor, dang. So for you guys, if you have a pet snake and then you want your anaconda to like, you know, to be comfortable and be sleeping like they're in a hotel, then this is the bed for you. That's insane. Who had no idea? What? A giant bird's nest bed. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry girl, I thought you were human. Why do you wanna sleep in a bird's nest with a bunch of eggs? Girl, I'm about to crack those eggs open and fry them in the skillet. I want me some scrambled eggs, mmm, and some bacon, ooh, and some waffles, yeah. So when people come over, they're gonna be like, uh, girl, you got a giant bird's nest in your living room. And then you're gonna be like, that ain't no bird's nest, that's my bed. Okay, seriously, comment down below. Would you date a girl who had a bird's nest bed in their, in their house? I mean, she looks comfortable, but I'm sorry, girl, that thing's gonna give you some back problems. Girl sleeping with a bunch of eggs in a bird's nest, girl, you better get that out of here.
I swear some hawk or eagle's gonna fly by and think that you're in his bird's nest. And where are the blankets at? Like, like seriously, you, you got a bunch of egg pillows, but you ain't got any, you know, there's no blankets. Uh-huh, winter is coming and it's about to be cold for you, girl. I swear, if this was my girlfriend, I'd have her institutionalized. I'd have her sent to the nearest mental institution ASAP. Oh, goody, now we have a giant brush bed. We got a, a toothbrush bed. Why are people taking everyday things and trying to make them into a bed? Why don't I just chill in my good old fashioned basketball hoop bed? Mm-hmm, yeah. I feel like a basketball inside a basketball hoop when I sleep. Bed looking like a giant toothbrush, you might want to be careful because, you know, if you sleep without any pants, one of those bristles might make its way up the butt. I, I don't know, I don't know. You guys were thinking it. You were thinking it. Come on now. I know I'm not alone. You you were thinking the same exact thing, that one of the bristles might just make its way up if you're not careful. So hey, make sure you sleep with pants on, all right? Brushes are not for sleeping in. Brushes are for your teeth and for your hair. Oh man, I've never seen such disrespect when it comes to sleep and beds. Dang, Matt. The fetal position bed. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. No, I don't sleep like that. So no, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work for me. Um, it's a no for me. Even if you manage to fall asleep in this position, it doesn't necessarily mean you'll wake up like that. I don't know about you guys, but I toss and turn and flip and everything. So, you know, there's like no room for you to sleep in a different position other than the fetal position. If I turn over to the side, then I'm gonna fall off onto the hard wood. And what if my torso is longer than that person's torso? And like, you know, what if my legs are longer than this cutout's legs? It's not practical. Sometimes I like to sleep on my back. Sometimes I like to sleep on my stomach. Sometimes I like to sleep on my butt. All right, so, you know, it just depends. I need a nice big bed and not a fetal position bed. This is like the, I just got broken up with bed. They ask you how you are. It's the breakup bed. Perfect for when you get broken up with, then you just end up in the fetal position and rethink your life. Or we could call this the hunchback of Notre Dame bed. But hey, Look, whatever works for you and, you know, whatever's gonna help you sleep at night. Ah, yes, guys, we're on to my favorite, the loft bed. Okay, it's not my favorite. Look, I don't wanna sleep that high up, man, jeez. I mean, cause if you toss and turn and then you end up rolling over, you're gonna roll off the cliff and onto the hardwood. And for me, I don't trust the stability of that bed. Like, what if somebody like me, what if I'm too heavy and then, you know, I get on top of the bed and then it comes crashing down. For one, I'ma hurt myself. And for two, I'm not gonna feel good about my weight. People are gonna think I'm fat, jeez. And even worse, they even have a table under the bed. So even worse, if I have a couple friends that are having a tea party down there and then the bed comes crashing down, boom, they're kaput, they're squashed. Let's just hope that that bed is secure, but I'm not gonna recommend the loft bed, I'm sorry. Okay, now we're talking. This is my kind of bed. Look at the flick of the wrist. The world's most advanced bed, and it's easy to see why. It includes everything you need to create the ultimate home cinema experience from the comfort of your bed. Oh! It's a movie screen right above you so you can just lie back and enjoy a movie. Features include a canopy with automatic blinds, LED lights, full sound system, and of course, a retractable cinema screen. Ooh! Girls and guys, I think we found our bed. Yeah, man. Now that thing looks comfortable and I like the color. Okay, okay. You got the red, yeah, like Ariana Grande's hair. That's an odd thing to bring up right now. But yeah, let me know which one of these beds are your favorite so far. And um, I need to find out where I can buy this bed because it looks good. Oh, heck no, we got the dad bed. <laughs> the good old fashioned outdoor dad bed. No, no, I'm not doing it. Oh, I'm sorry, it's called the outdoor mosquito net hammock bed. Most people love spending time in their garden during the summer months, but this can often be ruined by pesky bugs such as mosquitoes. The mosquito thwarter. Oh, good. Okay. I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess, because you can, you know, you can relax in a bed and like zip it up and then you can keep the bugs out. It doesn't look like the coolest thing ever, but you know, I'm, I'm sure it's nice and functional. Hopefully that thing is stable enough to support this dude. Otherwise, he's going to come 
crashing down. Crashing down like my self-esteem. All right. Now, I know this is a random situation, but, you know, if you're outside and, like, somebody comes up and robs you, that's going to be an embarrassing way to get robbed. You're just like, oh, here, here take my wallet. Wait, wait, sorry. You got you to gotta unzip it real quick. Here, here, just unzip it. All right, there you go. All right, here's the wallet. There you go. And this dude looks too dang happy, man, you know, to be sitting on that bed. What you reading there, man? Huh? Some inappropriate content? Man chilling outside on the mosquito net hammock bag, boy, girl, you better get that out of here. And that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on the video and be sure to click that subscribe button because all the cool kids are doing it. And be sure to add me on Instagram and Twitter at Dang Matt Smith. And you already know, get some of that Dang Matt Smith. Get that out of here merch. Yeah, man, got the link in the description below. But thank you guys again for watching the video. Let me know if you're gonna be at VidCon cause I'm gonna be there, yeah, and I wanna meet you guys. But yeah, let me know and I'm gonna see ya next time. Peace.